A very easy one. Uh, to leave my big company experience and uh, start out something uh, uh, on a much smaller scale uh, on this entrepreneurial path. Very, very uh, important step for me. The hardest decision is the recent one, stopping with the company because I reached my career summit, I think, in this company. Because based on my profile, whatever, my way of working, I like new challenges. So after eight years working hard on building, elevating a full department uh, to the highest level, then without any challenge, there is no life for me. So I had to quit to go and embrace something new. I was 20 years with Roche. I had a perfect career. It was absolutely super. And I had to decide whether I take uh, I swallow the red pill or the blue pill. And I swallowed the red pill to take an opportunity outside of Roche. It was the best decision I, I, I could have made, but it was a very difficult one, yeah. I think the hardest decision was after nine years of being at Kingfisher that I chose to leave the company. Uh, put everything into that company, everything into that role, develop the function from zero, but the time was right for me to move on. Um, balancing the growth and the bottom line. Um, at times you want to keep them in harmony, but at times there's also organisational requirements to work more on the bottom line and less on the top line. So when you're having to prioritise projects, that's painful, especially some of those projects are your own children. Um, I would say probably it's the, it's the choice of um, not always being able to keep people on a team that you would like to keep on your team. So sometimes you have to make tough choices as a leader, and, and those can be very tough at times. I always wanted to go back to New York City after I've done a project there, and the decision not to go there, that was tough, but it's done. <laughs> I've never had a hard decision. I honestly have never had a hard decision. I always felt, I think the one that people consider hard is when you fire whole loads of people, right? Redundancy, et cetera, et cetera, or close companies down. I never, it was for me never a judgment on whether they're good or bad. It's just I say, here are the barriers. We have to jump over them. If you can't, it's not suitable for you. So I always felt it wasn't, uh, it was a non uh, a judgmental decision. I was a category manager for a period of time supporting our logistics organization and uh, I kind of fell into it and I just loved it, right? I, I loved it because it was global in nature. I was traveling the world, able to deliver a lot of value to the organization. I was touching various different parts of the company I was working for, which was a big mm -hmm. global manu manufacturing organization. And I loved it so much that I actually I spent about seven years in that one category until um, I was appointed a mentor. And she asked me the question, she said, Did you, do you still want to be doing that role in 10 years' time? Of course, well, the answer to that was no. And so uh, I then moved on to uh, a different role in the company. Mm, firing people. <laughs> Never easy to, you know, show up one day and say to someone, hey, you have to think about what you are doing within three months because you will not be doing it here. Thank you.